I will always keep my videos here free. The only thing that I ask from you is to like and subscribe to my page. And also check me out on Patreon. Thank you so much. In this video, we're quickly going to go over muscle contractions. So there are basically three kinds of contractions when we're talking about muscles. There's tonic contractions, reflexive contractions, and phasic contractions. For the purposes of complex or, or osteopathic medicine, a lot of times they will ask you about phasic contractions. But just so we're complete, let's talk quickly about the other two. You have these tonic contractions. Basically what this means is a lot of your muscles are always slightly contracted. There's never a time if you're awake and functioning normally that you're just completely not contracted. There's always some slight contraction and it gives your muscles a certain amount of firmness. The only time you're not tonically contracted is if you're asleep or if you're under general anesthesia. That's one kind of contraction. Another kind is reflexive contraction. These are contractions that you have without even thinking about it. For example, your breathing, your muscles that are involved like your diaphragm, or your reflexes when you do the patellar or the bicep reflex. These are reflexive muscle contractions. They're automatic, you don't even think about them. Then you have these phasic contractions. And this is what they like to ask on exams, if they do even ask this. You have two kinds of phasic contractions. You have isotonic contractions and isometric contractions. And if you ever forget what they mean, you can just kind of look at the words. Isotonic means that the tone will stay the same, but the contraction will produce movement. Whereas isometric means the length or the metric stays the same. And there's no movement, even though there might be contraction. There's two kinds of isotonic movements, concentric and eccentric. Concentric is when contraction produces a shortening of your muscle fibers. For example, in this picture, let's say you're raising your arm, you're abducting the arm, and let's say you're using this deltoid muscle, which is abducting the arm. This muscle has fibers that are shortening, and the force that is generated by the muscle exceeds the force of gravity. And so that's called a concentric contraction. Then we have the eccentric contraction, where you have a lengthening of the muscle, but you still have a force that you're using with the contraction. In this example, let's say you were lowering your arm. Let's say you didn't just drop your arm, but you were controlling it and lowering your arm. You have a force that's generated that becomes less than gravity, but you still have a force that's being generated. And the muscle itself is lengthening. The fibers of the muscle are lengthening. That's called an eccentric contraction. Another example would be weightlifting. Let's say you're just doing a bicep curl. As you're lifting the weight, that would be considered concentric because your biceps or your muscle that you're using to lift the weight is shortening. Whereas when you're putting the weight back down, assuming you don't drop that weight, which a lot of people drop it for some reason, I'm not sure, but you're supposed to control the movement when you're putting it back down. And as you're moving it back down towards its initial position, that would be considered an eccentric contraction. So isotonic means that there is some motion. It can either be concentric, the fibers get closer together, or it can be eccentric, where the fibers get further apart. Then you have the isometric contraction, and that's where the muscle length stays the same. And one example is if you lift your arm and keep it equal resistance to gravity, you still have some contraction in the muscle fibers. However, the actual length of the muscle fibers is not changing. That's an example of an isometric contraction. Another example was if you got in the push-up position and didn't move up or down, but just stayed in the push-up position. That's another example of an isometric contraction.